The enormous fine levied on mega financial holding company by the United States has raised questions about improper or fraudulent conduct by previous company officials. The prosecutor summoned former chairman McKinney Tsai on August 23rd for questioning to determine whether or not he was involved in money laundering prior to quitting his job this March. Tsai denied any wrongdoings, citing the Banking Act of the Republic of China. After the inquiry, Tsai is prohibited from leaving Taiwan. The current chairman was also summoned as a witness and released after questioning. Citing abnormal transaction activities, the United States has fined mega financial holding company 5.7 billion NT dollars, and previous company officials are now under investigation. On August 23rd, prosecutors questioned former chairman McKinney Tsai for four hours before releasing him. Accused of violating the banking law, Tsai is now restricted from leaving Taiwan and must remain at his home. Tsai denies involvement in money laundering. The case has attracted much attention due to links to the Panama Papers. In February of this year, Mega Financial released a report by the Financial Supervisory Commission. In the following month, then Chairman McKinney Tsai cited personal reasons and resigned. His timing aroused suspicions about fraudulent activities on his part. The prosecutors also summoned current Mega Financial Chairman Xu Guangxi for questioning. She insisted that he is the problem solver and was released. The FSC has gathered information from the mega company headquarters, the Ministry of Finance, documents from the FSC and from U.S. officials in hopes of resolving the case. The FSC has identified seven major internal misconducts by the bank and now focuses on pinpointing unlawful activities.